Hey, so here's a lesson on transposing that works especially when you're playing by ear. So when do you need to transpose? Let's take your example of uh, Vals de Monstre, the, the monster waltz. I think the original is in B minor, right? So... Uh, Now, you can't play that because you only have a 48 bass accordion, so you don't have a, an F sharp and a B minor. Let's say you can't do that, I'm assuming. Or it's an uncomfortable key. For me, I probably wouldn't play a song in B minor and F sharp because I don't like F sharp. My hands aren't comfortable. So what we need to do is we need to transpose the song to a way that works for us. That might mean moving it down or moving it up. Let's see how to do that. So, Vals de Monstre, it's an easy example, like a lot of Jan Tiersen songs, it has three chords. Um, you could pull up the chords online, you could figure them out by ear, but the chords are B minor, F sharp minor, E minor, back to B minor. Three chords, easy. Let's, let's transpose in one of two ways. You can look at the chords and say, okay, I have my one chord, the first one, B minor. The next one is very close to it. It's the next one up towards my chin. And then going from the, my one, the original one, it's down. And then up. So it's the first one towards my chin, down, and up. Let's look at it mathematically, right? B minor, F sharp, E minor, B minor. Wherever I go on the accordion, I could choose somewhere down here. I don't know what key this is, but I'm going to do that same form. So, and up towards my chin, and then down, and then da 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 da. So let's step back. All you need to do, because the accordion is easy that way, is find that same form, connect those three chords the way that the original is written. Um, let's continue. So I'm not going to go down here just because I don't know what chord this is. I could figure it out, but let's go to a chord that you do know. Let's do G minor. G minor. So G minor to D minor. You could actually start naming them. To C minor to G minor. That part's easy, let's call it again. Um, so how do we figure out the melody? Something that I like to do because I learn by ear is to sing along, right? Ba, 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 ba. And as I'm singing, I'm trying to figure out where that th those notes are. Before I do that, sorry, I missed a step, is to play the chords on my right hand too. So ba 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 right D minor, C minor. G minor. Why do I do that? So that I know that I'm probably going to have a B flat in there and a C minor. Right? Da 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 ba 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 And as I'm singing, ba 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 ba, how do I find that ba? Ba. Right? That's how I figure out the song. Let's take a key that we don't know what it is. It's somewhere down here. And I'll do the same thing just to... Let's see what chords these are. So that means it's A flat minor. What chord is that? A flat. We're going... Plus four. We're going 
plus five in that direction. To B minor, to E flat minor, the other way, to C minor, C sharp minor, back to that, right? Right now I'm just messing around a bit. But write down those chords, practice that key. Again, don't choose A flat minor unless you're really well versed at it. Choose a D minor to A minor to G minor so that you don't have too many black keys and your fingers can just run across the keyboard and it makes the song much more playable, right? <laughs> Etc. This works for other Yen Tears and songs. Let me know if you have one in mind and I'll help you transpose it. Thank you.